Hi and welcome to part 6 of the Oculus Quest review series here on MRTV. In this video, we're going to talk about the tracking of this device. How good is the headset tracking? And of course, very important, how good is the controller tracking? And well, can you actually play in complete darkness? Also, how good are the controllers in general? All in this video and it's coming up. Hi, welcome here at MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is your first time here. If you're just as excited about VR and as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss any of my upcoming Oculus Quest and VR and AR videos that are well coming up here on this channel. Wow, already video number six of this review series and only three days left until you can also hold this in your hands. Hold the Oculus Quest in your hands and again, I wholeheartedly recommend this device to you. I love this device and again, this is not a sponsored video. This is my opinion. I have to send back this review unit to Oculus and my own Oculus Quest is going to arrive on 21st of May just like for everyone else and get it. It is truly, truly amazing. Today I also um, let my mom try it and uh, she, she loved it too. It is amazing. But now let's get into the topic of this video, the tracking. How good is it and what kind of tracking is it? Well, let me get into it. So as you can tell here, we have four cameras at the edges of the front plate and these four cameras are responsible for the tracking, for the tracking of the headset itself, so that the headset itself knows where it is, where it is in space and also for the tracking of the controllers so that the system knows where the controllers are in space. And this is called inside out tracking because, well, you don't need to set up base stations as you still had to do with the original Oculus Rift or with the original Vive and the Vive Pro and the Pimax. So no need to set up base stations. You can simply bring this anywhere and it is going to work and that is already really cool. So it's the same kind of system like with the Windows Mixed Reality virtual reality headsets but here you have two more cameras and this is actually really beneficial for the tracking and I'm going to let you know why in a moment. First of all, how good is the headset tracking? I can tell you the headset tracking is perfect. There is absolutely no difference as compared to the headset tracking of the original Rift, the Vive, Vive Pro or any of those headsets. It works perfectly. You can not only look left and right and up and down, down. No, because it's six degrees of freedom. You can lean in and you can move around in virtual reality. And it, that is actually so important for a real VR experience and it works flawlessly. I could not tell if I was tracked by a lighthouse system from, from Valve or by this Oculus Insight tracking, they call it. It is flawless. It is just so good. It's very well done. Yeah, second question, how well does the controller tracking work? So here, th these controllers are also tracked by those four cameras and also for the controller tracking, I can tell you it works fantastic. It works really, really well and these cameras perfectly pick up where the controllers are in space. I have tried all the games that came with this headset and I didn't have any problems at all. And actually, the controller tracking is definitely better than the Windows Mixed Reality controller tracking. As I mentioned, the Windows Mixed Reality headsets, they only have two cameras here and here, and they kind of track very well the area in front of you. But once you go out of the, the field of view of those cameras, like for example, here behind your shoulder, for example, um, tracking will be lost. Now for the Oculus Quest, they have positioned the cameras in a better way. And first of all, there are two more cameras than with, with the Windows Mixed Reality headset and that does help. So they have positioned the cameras at the outer edges here of the headset. And that helps because these cameras, 
they will track at a wider angle as compared to the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. And that's why even when your controller is here, for example, right behind, like over your shoulder, like you try to get something out of there, it will be tracked and it works so well. Actually, it even works better than the, the, the two base station tracking of the original Oculus Rift. Because, well, you can look into any of the directions and the tracking will be fantastic. So, Oculus has done a fantastic job when it comes to the tracking. And, well, you can bring this anywhere. You don't have to set up base stations and it's going to work. However, I must tell you that there is a blind spot. And this blind spot is directly here. If you, if you get too close with your controller to the headset, like, as if, like if you are touching it, in this moment, the four, the four cameras here will not pick up the position of the controller. So in that moment, the controller kind of floats in virtual reality and uh, well, it doesn't perfectly track the device. That is, I would say that is the only weak spot of this tracking. However, how often do you really get so close to the headset? Really seldom, like really, really, it, it didn't really happen. I just tried it, I played Space Pirate Trainer and I simply put the laser gun here just to find out if tracking would be lost. And indeed, tracking was lost when I was here, so I simply had to go a bit further away from, from the headset and the tracking was back there immediately. So, yeah, normally no problem. Then I was worried, so, so what does it mean for like uh, first person shooters when you want to aim through the sides. Well, if you put your controller too close, yeah, then you will have a problem. However, I also found out, thanks to your comments, that in reality, if you hold a real gun, you also, you wouldn't hold the gun like, like, like this, right? You have, you would hold it like, a, like at this distance, for example, and you wouldn't actually be so close that your hand is touching your face when you actually shoot in real life. Also, if you, if you look through a scope, I also learned, thanks to the comment section, that the scope doesn't really touch your, your eye because recoil is a bitch, as somebody of you pointed out in the comment section. And it makes sense that yeah, you, you are at a, at a good distance to your head. So then I don't believe anyone is going to have problems with this inside out tracking. It is fantastic. It really, really works well. The next question, does tracking work in complete dark rooms and the answer is no it does not work and inside the oculus quest there will be a pop-up which says like hey your environment is too dark and actually the cameras they cannot um they cannot pick up things and that's why it cannot orient itself and it it doesn't work so if you are in pitch black rooms it does not work there has to be some ambient light so probably simply turn on the tv or just turn on any of of the lights and then you won't have any problems as long as there's ambient light and you can see stuff around you the oculus quest is going to pick up things and will be able to track well, you've already watched the, probably the second part of my review series where I brought the Oculus Quest outside, right? And um, then you know that you cannot play in direct sunlight. Like now, I would have problems with tracking. It doesn't work. You have to find, if you're outside, you have to find places that are in the dark shadow and then you will be able to play. And again, very important when you go outside, put this here, yeah? put. Um, you have to secure the lenses because if the direct sunlight goes into the lenses, you can damage your display and probably you will damage your display. So you have to be very careful about that. And yeah, this is a public service announcement again since I'm sitting here outside. So once you get it, do keep that, that this cardboard thingy here. Keep it. it it's, it's really useful when you go outside. All right, so now let's talk about the controllers for, for a moment. How good are these controllers as compared to the other controllers out there um, on the market? So let's go through it. Let's, let me show you what, what they got. So first of all, here we have a, a trigger. 
and this trigger does not have a click. As you can hear, you can hear nothing. Then we have a... Wait, can you see that? Yeah, here is better, right? Here we have a grip button here. So if you want to grip something, you can do that here. Then we have two buttons here, then a thumbstick, and this thumbstick can be clicked as well. And we have one, uh, one more menu button here. Then this is powered by a battery. And here is, here you put in, in here, it's a one double A battery. And this is like, this thing is hold by a magnet. So it's, it's very elegant. It's a very elegant solution. And that is everything here. So, so there's no port here. It's not for recharging. You really have to change the battery. Like for me, I like it. I always have like rechargeable batteries running around, uh, lying around so I can simply exchange them when I run out of juice. This is great. They feel really great. They feel just as good as the original Oculus touch controllers of the original Rift. Just the only difference is that this here, this ring is now above and not below the device. But well, if you're in virtual reality, you won't see it at all and it won't bother you. It, it feels just as good as the original Oculus touch controllers. So how do they compare um, against other controllers like the, the Vive Wands or the Windows Mixed Reality controllers or the Valve Index controllers? Let me tell you, I really like these controllers. They are great because they are just they just feel so ergonomic i am a big fan of these controllers now they are definitely better than the vive wands right the vive wands are these, these huge controllers they don't have a thumbstick and stuff yeah this is better than the vive wands this is also better than the the windows mixed reality controllers right the windows mixed reality controllers are not really great even though i like it that you have a touchpad and a thumbstick with the windows mixed reality controllers but they are not ergonomic at all. They feel strange in your hand. So this is better. This is better than the Windows Mixed Reality controllers. Is it better than the Valve Index controllers though, the Knuckles controllers? Now there I must tell you no. I prefer the Valve, in, the Valve Index controllers, even though they are not as perfectly ergonomic as these here, but the fact that you can strap those, those Knuckles controllers to your hand and therefore if you like like lose your grip they will still like like stick to your hand that is really amazing also for the valve index controllers that you have this pressure sensitive uh, base is really good so as directly as compared to the valve index controllers i have to give the valve index controllers the the win in this competition but these are amazing they're just as good as the original Oculus Touch controllers and definitely one of my favorite VR controllers next to the Valve Index controllers. Yeah, good. I believe that I have covered all topics that I want to cover in this video. So yeah, we're getting so close now to the official launch of the Oculus Quest. Still, if you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. I would love to read your questions. I would, I'm going to answer them and I'm probably even going to make a video if more of you ask a similar question. So that's definitely going to happen. Again, if you haven't ordered this yet, probably now is a good time so that you can still get this on the 21st of May, which is only three days away and then finally you can hold this in your hands and I'm, I'm very sure that YouTube is going to be flooded with these kind of review videos. Yeah, so I can wholeheartedly recommend you to get this. The link to Amazon is down in the description below. It's an affiliate link. So if you buy through this link, you will support this channel and you don't even have to pay a cent more. And I would of course very, very much appreciate it. All right, so if you have not yet subscribe to this channel why don't you do so now and why don't you click on the bell button so don't miss any of my upcoming oculus quest videos i'm going to make so many oculus quest videos simply since i'm so fascinated by this device and here is 
definitely an amazing place for you to get the latest news, topics, reviews about Oculus Quest and also all the other VR headset that are coming out, Rift S, HP Reverb, Valve Index, everything's going to be covered here on the channel. So subscribe now and click on the bell button. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, now I have covered everything and now I can say goodbye. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.